Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm gonna to show you the proper way to get your ECU updated on your E-Series BMW. This is my MSD80 ECU. I recently tried to update this at home and failed miserably, but still upload the video just so you guys will get an idea of what you'd be looking at. I'll put a link in the description so you guys can catch up if you're interested. So I got help from a local viewer, really grateful for that. I'm about to cut over to the footage of me getting the ECU programmed at a shop using proper software, just to give you guys an idea. You guys will probably find this useful. And just as a little sneak peek, uh, as soon as I put in my new ECU, I was having a stumble issue and I, I, I ruled out that it wasn't coils or a tune or anything like that. Turns out that the moment I put that new ECU in, and drove around the block a couple times, shut off the car and drove it again. It caught that my secondary O2 sensor was bad. And this ECU was not able to do that. Only the MSD81 clearly told me that. And from what I understand, the oxygen sensors, the secondary oxygen sensors actually do influence the primaries. They help it calibrate. So all along, my issue has been my O2 sensors, but the, this ECU wasn't able to tell me that. So there are differences with the MSD81 ECU. Let's go over to that shop now and I'll show you how we got it done. So I'm over here at Ren Motors. A uh, viewer was gracious enough to reach out to assist me with associating the ISN from my new DME to my CAS module. So we're gonna show you that process now. Here's a look at the shop. If you guys need any work in the Houston area, Mercedes is their specialty, but they also work on BMW. Okay, so right now we're connected via OBD to what's called an auto hex. So new ECU's in. Now we're using the laptop. So this software is about seven thousand dollars. So this software here, it's not the kind of software you would invest in typically unless you have a business. The fact that this can be done via OBD is because it's really advanced software and it's expensive. You can do this on a bench for much less, but you know, when you invest in the right type of hardware for business, it's gonna save you a lot of labor. The proper charger there that's designed to maintain an exact voltage, that's doing it properly. And there's my original ECU just sitting on there. So huge thanks to Ren. Uh, they really bailed me out here and uh, I'd love for you guys to support uh, a local business in Houston, so if you guys need this work done, I'm gonna ask him how much he'd charge if you were to send in your module. Or if you're at least local to Houston, just pop in and it'll be an easy upgrade. They still work on Beamers, as you can see. So from what I understand, before it can even pull the ISN, it has to write to the ECU. Even though I have Comfort Access, his uh, software would not allow for programming unless the key was physically in the dash. Comfort Access is not acceptable, just so you know. That is literally the biggest fan I've ever seen in my life. Pretty cool. It's actually pleasant in here. It's 98 degrees outside. Yes. Nine, nine, zero. Okay. Sadly, I remember it actually from all those tries I was doing from flashing. So now we also saved the thing, the SK. We got that. That's from the transmission? Uh, so that's a, they call it as SK, but it's actually the ISN. So we'll do that too. You said KY. 62. 62. 990. Nine, I noticed on. Uh, on the last video, you memorized the VIN number by now. Sadly. <laughs> Did he paste and copy No, that I typed it out because I'm like, I've already tried 18 times before you saw that <laughs> clip, you know? So there's the ISN, right? I thought it was impossible over OBD. I didn't know that if you had the right. No, with this one, this one. That's one of the few, that's probably. Why I, that's why I bought it, because you can literally see now we're going to read and write the cast. 
ISN. ISN. So we got a number. And then what software did it just do? It looked at my VIN and ran, flashed whatever it seemed appropriate? I or does it back up what's on no, there? No, I think there's a certain type of uh, downgrade that it does to oh. be able to grab the ISN and, and then, then you go just back in and reflash it to wherever it was before. Yeah. That's what I like about this. Because one thing I was worried about, the software that I threw on here may have been E60 because I, I had the Dayton files. If that mm. happens, worst case, I'll use MHD and I'll, I can flash the stock tune easily. But I don't think... I think okay. the issue was Remove the cast. The key from the ignition? Yeah. Yeah, you can't read the cast until the car's off. So it wants you to save the cast one too before you write no, to it. No, I think it's gonna write it. Now. And now we... On. Okay, it wants to be reconnect. Should yeah, put it back? It okay. Here. Yeah. And if someone wants to get this done, what are you going to charge? Uh, I think I'm doing 250. 250. That's yeah. cheaper than everybody. They charge 300. Yeah, and then they gotta send them out. Uh, if they send it in, I can do the same price, and I try to get them like fast shipping out of here. All in 250 yeah. with shipping or um, plus shipping? Yeah. The only thing is with with the with the cast in hand. Um, I mean, it's a little bit harder to get that done. Yeah. You gotta have it on the bench. I think a lot of guys, most guys that are gonna be interested, are gonna be in Houston and okay, they wanna do yeah, this. They can just come you in know, and get it in and, in and out. So it's got the right VIN number in it. In now, the DME, because in I the because DME, of what I did. And there's a software update for it. I don't know if you wanna do that. If, if, there's, a, there's a later software update available for you. You know what? I think I have the wrong one on there. I, I think we should. If it doesn't. Do you want to go ahead? Yeah, if, it, okay, if it's okay. So, so, yeah, so the primary cannot be erased. The secondary can be over. But you can pass the emissions because it's going to see this. Because every time you scan it, it goes to the secondary. Yeah, because you told I, it to. Yeah, MHD was doing the primary all the time. Got a whole bunch of, man, I do, oh, these yeah. things are doing like, man, it's doing oil changes. Yeah. So I got those in stock, ready to go. And yeah, I mean, literally just put this right here, seven components. You got K1, K2, K3, uh, B1, B2, B3, and then BR. And that's it. And that's, and that's literally mo the most common are these. CDC. So if you can do this, you can do this as, uh, a yeah, the yeah. same thing. This is a uh, code com uh, EC flash complete. Okay, there you, there you go. All right, guys, so there you go. It's running. I just had to clear the codes via MHD one time, and it's running smooth now. All as well. You typically would have to upgrade your injector uh, values, but I already did that with my laptop prior to coming here, so it would have saved those values. Hopefully, I'll double check when I get home. So huge, huge thanks to Ren Motors. They really helped me out. And if you guys need to get the service done, you can send your ECU in if you'd like. They'll do it for $250. Um, or if you have the car, even better, they'll do it for $250. But uh, they'll ship it expedited if you're in the lower 48. So once again, thanks to Marvin for reaching out and to Ren Motors. So if you notice on that last clip, uh, it started but ran a little bit rough. I forgot to flash it with MHD to let it know that I have a N20 TMAP sensor so it wouldn't have run right. I did that, ran smooth. Drove it home on a stock tune. Now I'm going to flash my new custom tune with the new ECU. So I had my tuner take the tune that I had on there and adapt it to the MSD81 ECU. Or as MHD refers to it, the IJE0S. Today we associated the ISN from the ECU to the cast to allow the car to start. Now I'm going to go 
the MHD. And I'll show you what Vin pulls up. You can just go to codes, read DME codes. So here, Vin is ending in 131. Cass is ending in my actual Vin. So MHD is fine. It works with it. It knows to check both modules. So I'm expecting 131 to report through my scanner because I flashed it. I got 2990, my actual VIN to read through my generic scanner with the WinKFP write that I did. But what I'm not sure of now that we flashed my custom map with MHD, let's see what VIN pulls up. The ending and run one through one. So when it comes time to do my emission test, etc., I'll flash back to star, use WinKFP to uh, write a new VIN to the DME, just to the UIF, so that via generic OBD scanner, it'll report the appropriate VIN. But we'll see in the future. You guys can watch out for that. So keep that in mind when you flash, when you put a DME in and you associate the ISN, the VIN from the EM DME is gonna overwrite by MHD, your secondary UIF slot. Not a big deal for me since I have my laptop. All right guys, back from a test drive. It's feeling beautiful with this new ECU and the custom tune. I'm gonna install my spool performance coils back in there and set the option in MHD for more Joel to really maximize their potential and maximize my ethanol running E50 or E60. Once again, huge thanks to Marvin at Ren Motors. He really saved the day and he's a legend. So if you guys need anything like this done in the Houston area, or if you wanna send your ECU to him to have him associate your CAS, you'd send your key, CAS and ECU. He'll charge 250 and expedite it back to you. Or if you want to see him in person, he's in Southwest Houston and a really nice guy, super clean shop. If you need repair work done on your BMW or Mercedes, consider him. They've been doing it for a long time and he's got really nice cars there. He works on some of the newer cars even. So with what we did today, there's no tamper dot on the car. Everything's running perfectly normal. You'd never know the difference except for if you scanned for the VIN via the OBD you'll notice it's different, but we'll deal with that when the time comes. When I'm ready for an emission test, I will make sure to make a video on how I update the VIN records so that I can pass emissions with the original VIN. It's not a big deal. So thanks for watching, guys. If this is the first video you're catching of mine, consider subscribing for more content like this I upload regularly. <laughs>